two new episodes of season two. Well, it's not season two. It's only two episodes because we currently don't know when the second season is going to come back because of the pandemic and because of the state of the U.S. We don't know if they're going to actually film again in early 2021 as scheduled. But two new episodes. Hi there, my name is Sean, pronouns he, him, his, and this is a little thrifted Euphoria lookbook. We all love the show Euphoria, and we're all getting back into the swing of things now that we have two new episodes coming in December. And also, our icon, the youngest winner of a lead actress in a drama, Miss Zendaya, like pop-off icon, she's running the game. This is giving us everything we need after the rough. 2020. While we all really love Euphoria, we have to forget that it's a very high budget HBO show that has the means to be able to buy expensive designer products like this that when we're relating to in our teenage lives, our young lives, we can't relate to the $700 pieces that they're wearing. So I thought it'd be fun to show you all what you can do with the price budgets that you're under. All of these, I dedicate myself to getting every single item for this lookbook, either secondhand or thrifted. Not only am I able to control my impact on the environment through secondhand shopping, I also am bringing a new life into these old pieces to encourage you to see these older pieces in a very new and exciting way. And that you can create these pieces with what you have available to you as well within your own budget constraints. So let's not waste any more time. Let's just get into it. You got a new best friend. <laughs> you know what, Rick? Why don't you go fuck yourself? Although Rue really goes through a lot in the show, we see her style staying pretty consistent where this blending of feminine characteristics with masculine clothing. So you can always catch her in a patterned button up shirt with a short sleeve crop top underneath, typically paired with either straight leg pant or a baggy short. For me, I took these corduroy pants paired them with a fancy schmancy button up shirt and a Rue Essential is having either maroon or Converse. And for me, I was able to find the best of both worlds in these shoes. They are just perfect for the Rue outfit and give off the entire aesthetic that you want to capture her with. I've also learned my first time with cropping a shirt that fabric scissors really help with getting a seamless cut. So to make up for my frayed cutting, I folded up the shirt and knotted it in the back so that way it gave an impression that it's very seamless cut in the front because you can hide anything behind the back of the shirt. By the way, I'm Jules. I just moved here. Throughout the series, you see jewels in a variety of different bright and colorful outfits, using a lot of pastel blues and pinks, as well as a lot of different textured pleated skirts. So I wanted to make sure both of those elements came through in my piece. I paired this very quirky pattern top with a secondhand tennis skirt, and then paired it off with some chunky shoes, as well as this gender bent necklace. Anyways, why has nobody told me that skirts are so much fun? You can see me here that I'm just shimmying away and how fun this skirt is. Definitely recommend, definitely high key approve and just enjoy as Jules does. Just enjoy the moment, you know, just have fun, live life. Changed. 
We see Kat's confidence grow in her body and her sexuality really early on from the show. And she just takes it to a whole new level than what most people do. And it is in every single sense, her own style. <laughs> Getting as close to almost dominatrix as one can while being school appropriate, Kat can always be seen in a either belt or harness, and as well as just really bold colors, real darks, reds, that just give off this edgy and strong look to her. So for my look, I paired this red pattern shirt with some high-waisted plastic pants. Paired it with a red Doc Martens to keep this look going. The staple of the look with this harness, as you can see, I'm so uncomfortable in this. This is so completely outside of my own comfort zone that I just don't know how to act. But it is 100% cat and 100% her style. You want to kill him? What? Let's fucking kill him. <laughs> While Cassie's style might not be as bold or as statement making as some of the other characters, her style is very consistently her and very representative of who she is. Light pinks and light blues with some pops of red really give her outfits her own signature. This 80s meets modern style that Cassie brings to her clothes is something I really wanted to try in my own search. So I paired these skinny mom jeans style with some Air Force Ones and then a simple baby pink long sleeve shirt and only use some simple accessories to really highlight the outfit overall using this thin necklace as well as these cherry earrings to give that slight pop of color that her outfits always seem to have. I don't know if your brain is all scrambled from like all the molly you take, but I never said that. If you spread a lie like that, I will fucking come for you. We good? Yeah. Maddie is really just that bitch of the show. She just screams luxury, screams confidence through every single one of her looks. I took the sport coat, opened up the back to give some little extra skin reveal to it and make it a little less masculine. Took some matching pants, paired with these iconic white heeled boots. It is so much fun walking around in these, like I cannot stress that enough. These clip on hoop earrings make me feel like I'm about to take them off and bite someone. Like they give me such strength. Like. Her entire confidence like comes through in this outfit for me. Add this little fur coat hanging off the shoulders makes me feel even bougier than I did before. I just have such extreme confidence in this look. I feel like I could just take on the world. And that really wraps up my takes on the season one outfits from Euphoria. I'm just like many people are looking forward to the two holiday episodes as well as the eventual season two. Fingers crossed that they're able to film it. But thank you so much for watching. This has been super fun. I hope you all feel encouraged too to go out and make your own looks that really speak true to you as well as show that you can make these outfits without having a high-end industry budget. So thank you so much for watching.